Hello, this is Bobby from Copel TV Repair with a proof of functionality of boards uh, before we return them back to customer. This is a Y Sustain 6871QA039B. <clears throat> We've done a lot of videos for those. Uh, this is the unique signature that I'm focusing on of the customer. We've apparently done it in uh, September 2015. The board was returned to us, it was functioning fine. Uh, it is out of warranty at this time if it was indeed on 925, but there, there, is, there was nothing wrong with it, so we're not charging anything uh, for that. The top buffer is ours, the bottom buffer is a customer's buffer. I will, I'm making a video, there's another ID here uh, for the customer. I'm making a video of uh, what the buffer board does in a second. The buffer board was uh, what was bad. Uh, let me press the menu here so you can see menu. Uh, in other words, right now the whole thing works. I just turned it off uh, because I want to show this. What we've done on the buffer board, it was extensive. Uh, four ICs out of six. Are these six? I think there were six. Four out of six ICs were replaced. <clears throat> that's extensive, that's almost a brand new buffer and frankly I'm tempted to do the other two as well uh, which will make it a practically brand new buffer uh, what we've done, come on uh, what we've done was replace the top IC this one is replaced, it's already covered with silicone, I actually started with that, if you pay attention, the silicone here is more translucent uh, compared to the old one, which is more yellowish. This is a translucent one, this is already covered, but after we replace that, it turned out, this one was also bad, This we still have to put a silicone on, and uh, this one, so three ICs were replaced, not four, three out of six. Uh, we also replaced the MOSFETs, which normally fail on those. And uh, the TV is working, we'll just cover those in silicone and send the whole thing back. We'll only charge for a repair of the buffer board, uh, but it's going to be $60, which is a lot. And this has been going on for like two hours now, back and forth, replacing three ICs. Uh, testing the Y. Hopefully that will take care of it. Uh, don't forget there are three ICs that are waiting to fail. And we don't know when they will fail. But replacing them as well will just add too much cost to this whole thing. That's all. Thanks.